guys, welcome to another video. I'm Cryptic Ink and today is the last day of Inktober. I have had so much fun doing all these drawings. I feel like I've learned a lot. I've made a crazy amount of drawings, 31 days, 31 drawings. For me, that's, that's a lot of art in one month. So I am really happy that I did this challenge and I'm also really happy that I'm done. If you did participate in this month's challenge, let me know what you thought, what you learned and what you liked about it. Um, and also share your artwork. I always love to see what you guys are working on. So today I'm gonna to be scanning in all these drawings and putting them into Photoshop, editing them a little bit and so that I can print them to go in my shop today and tomorrow. So a lot of you guys have been asking me to put up more prints of these pieces that I've been working on and they will be updated today and tomorrow. So just let you know. Today I will also be working on the last few drawings that I have left of Inktober. I did miss a couple days and I'm redoing one or two of them because I did not like the way they came out at all. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. But first I'm going to go walk my dog, Worf, and then I will be back in this art room to do all my art stuff. So see you soon. Okay, so I'm back in my art room. Uh, I feel weird calling it a studio because that sounds so professional. It's just a room where I make art, but I guess that's what it is. It's really messy right now, like super messy, <laughs> but I'll clean it once I'm done drawing. Anywho, welcome back. Inktober is finally over, and these are the drawings from the last week of the month-long challenge. I'm so happy it's done. I'm very happy to have finished something after a large chunk of time. I guess I'll start this talk today discussing all the things I've learned so far and then talking about where I'm going to go with my art and this channel moving forward. So what have I learned? Um, well, I feel like I've learned a lot of things in the past 31 days. Yesterday I talked about perseverance, which is the most important thing I feel like I took from this challenge. <clears throat> Excuse me. Talking more on that, I think doing Inktober all month has helped me manage my time better. It's helped me focus on a single goal for a stretch of time and it's given me an opportunity to take a project to completion. In the past, I had trouble finishing projects and sticking with them for very long periods of time. It seemed that once I hit a hurdle, I would either give up or start some other project altogether until my artwork became just a stream of unfinished ideas and abandoned projects. And I've been doing that since high school. Um, this is actually the very first time I finished Inktober really the very first time I finished any month-long challenge and don't get me wrong the process was not perfect I did not love every single drawing I did but the point was that I finished and kept going and that's just one thing I learned that it's more important to finish things than to make them perfect and of course I feel like I learned a lot about how to use ink I look back at the very first drawing I did this month and I'm happy to say there was a little improvement. I started off this month using the completely wrong kind of paper for what I wanted to do and thank you so much by the way for your suggestions and comments in those first videos helping me out. Um, I was also nervous about ink washes. I still have a ways to go before I actually feel good about doing ink washes but I can confidently say I'm not nearly as nervous or worried about it as when I started. Also I learned how to experiment with my art. Inktober gave me an opportunity to step out of my comfort zone and tackle a new way of creating. 
And I learned that confidence definitely shows in my line work and that once you get past the pressure of not being able to undo a line or mark on the paper, it's really not that bad and not that scary. I learned to be a little less afraid of making mistakes. I planned my drawings a little more, I made use of thumbnails and references before starting a piece, and I think doing that has informed my art making process. I also learned to keep sketches loose if I plan on inking over them, because many of the marks I made while inking were spontaneous and random. Well, not random, but they were spontaneous and they didn't have to line up exactly with the sketch underneath. I learned so much doing the challenge th this month and not just because it was Inktober, uh, it's because I was drawing so much more and putting in the effort every day and you know I was fortunate enough to discover even more artists online while I was doing it. And it was amazing to see how everyone else was learning and improving all together. Even if I hadn't finished or if I had decided I wasn't going to do the full challenge, it was cool to be a part of something. Having a community around and sharing comments, inspiration, and feedback can do wonders for your own personal journey too. It's just nice to have other artists around and to encourage each other. So if you have successfully finished the challenge this year, congratulations! And if you tried but didn't finish, you should be happy with yourself too because even one or two drawings is more than nothing. And you don't need a challenge to draw every day or to draw as much as you want to anyways. You can start drawing whenever you want, as long as you have a pencil and paper or whatever it is you use to make art with. So yeah, celebrate your own accomplishments. Take this moment at the end of a very long marathon to be happy with what you've done and to reflect on your art and what you've learned. I think little moments of joy and pride in your own success are important. It doesn't have to last forever because when you're done celebrating, it's time to start again and make wonderful new artwork to share with the world. As for me, I've got an idea of what I want to do next. I will be finishing up my shop updates tonight and getting those originals and prints available to those of you that want them. Drawing wise, I'm thinking I want to get back into painting with gouache and maybe try some oil paintings on the side. I may not draw as furiously as I did this month. I should probably take a little break to recharge, but I'm looking forward to making more art after I've rested a couple days. And I can't wait to make more videos. Not every day, but definitely once a week at least. I'm also working on a little book of my Inktober drawings. I think I'll only make a few because it's my first art book and I'm not sure how much interest there will be, but it doesn't matter if I sell it. I think I just want something tangible so I can say that I did this. Um, this is my first self-publication and it would make me happy even if I was the only one to have it. I just think it would be something cool to do. So yeah. The end of October is just the start of a new chapter for me and for a lot of artists out there. Um, I hope that's not too mushy, but I hope you've enjoyed drawing so far. I hope you continue to make great things and continue on in your own artistic journeys. Right now, I'm going to do a quick flip through of all the 31 pieces I finished this month just to recap on the challenge and then I'll be back to sign off.
Alright you guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope I didn't get too mushy about it, but I'm just really happy this morning. I'm in a celebratory mood. If you participated in this month's challenge, what's your next move? What do you plan to draw next? Um, what are your new motivations going forward in art? Let me know in the comments down below and maybe we can start a discussion. Alright, that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, happy drawing! Bye!